I want to show you how to get the lock on for Dragon's Dogma 2. First mod you're going to need is the framework one. Which you want to go, you know, type it in, find it, and then just put download. And from here, you just go to your downloads. You know, once it's done downloading, you open it, copy this, and then go to your, uh, wherever you stored your Dragon's Dogma. And now let me see if I can, yeah. Right, right here. And then from there, when you when you take that copy, you just paste it in here. And then from there, you just want to go back. And the second mod is script core. Download it. Same thing. Open it. Copy all this. And then go back to your Dragon's Dogma game. And then paste it in here, and it should go into the framework one. And from there, you want to go back. And then the last mod is the lock on for combat. Download it. And then open it again. Copy it all. And then from there, you just go back to your, your dragons. I'm going to paste it and I'll go back into framework. And then from there, it should work. But I'm going to skip it through until I'm in the game and I'm going to show you how it looks like. But yeah. Alright guys, I let into the game. What you want to do is right click the joystick on whatever controller you're using and it should lock on. I like it, you know, they should have had something like this to begin with, you know. Could have at least upgraded that from the first game. But you can still free aim. You gotta just click it again and it goes away and you can still free aim. But this, I feel like this is good for an archer or like a fighter or any fighter class really. A melee class, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. Oh yeah, I, I just realized you can if you move the joystick, the right joystick, you can make it go up. You can make it go up to the head. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's about it guys. That's all I wanted to show you guys. But yeah. Later.